Hey, what's up, shitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little different because you know, we're not checking out an e-bike today. Today, we're gonna be checking out the Hovsko Porto Max scooter you see here. You know, I know what you're thinking. Hey, isn't this an e-bike channel? What are you doing reviewing a scooter? Well, honestly, guys, a couple years ago, I was on vacation in Lake Tahoe and I ended up renting a Lime scooter when I was there. And after that, I realized this scooter is actually very practical. After that trip, I ended up buying a scooter from Costco, and now whenever I go on trips or I go camping, I take that scooter with me because it's very useful to have with you to travel short distances. They're compact and you can put them in smaller places so you don't have to bring a big bike with you. So they actually end up being very practical. That's enough small talk. What do you say we get right into it? So here we have it guys. This is the Hovsko Porto Max scooter. Now what you see here, this is a 350 watt motor with 500 peak output. It has a 10.4 amp hour battery or 374 watt hour battery. It has this nice seat here. It comes with this basket in the rear and the basket is actually interchangeable. It's got front and rear mechanical disc brakes. This thing with dual disc brakes has absolutely no problem coming to a stop with me riding it and I weigh about 240 pounds. This scooter has a weight limit of 260 pounds so Hovsko uh, claims this has a 35 mile range. Sure, 35 miles is probably possible with this. Uh, maybe if the cat was riding it on low power. Realistically, I believe the other night I rode about seven or eight miles and I still had about three out of five bars left. So I think with me riding on the heavier side, I could probably get 15 to 18, no problem. This has an IPX5 waterproof rating. Uh, what that means is a great question, but I can't tell you the answer to that one. This has 12 inch air filled tires, which is great because the air filled makes it means for a softer ride. But on the other end of that, air filled means these tires are also have the possibility of getting flats. Some of these scooters come with solid tires, which mean you can't get flats on them, but it also makes it for a much rougher ride. This uh, scooter has a net weight rating of 43.7 pounds. I don't really understand why they say net weight, because it's not like you fill them with fluids or anything. So overall, it's a really nice looking scooter here. This is nice red brake calipers, front and rear fenders, the basket. Now at first, as you're familiar, most scooters you ride from a standing position. This has the handlebars in a lower position. So you pretty much always have to ride this when sitting down, unless you're extremely short. It has a front headlight. There's no rear tail light. There is a reflector. It's got these side reflectors on the side here for additional safety. This cool little kickstand here. Here's the charge port. And the charger this scooter comes with is a two amp charger. And this is a 10.4 amp hour battery, which means this will charge from a dead battery to a full battery in right about five hours. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you put air in the tires. When it came to me, the front tire had a little bit of air and the rear was completely flat. So definitely check air pressure in the tires before you take this thing for a ride. In order to fold the scooter up, simply open the latch there and then the handlebars fold down. There's no way this like, there's nowhere where this snaps into place. So I kind of just stick the handlebars underneath the seat here and then it'll stay put. As you can see, it's very easy to operate the folding mechanism on this scooter. Here we are at the cockpit of the Porto Max scooter. You have these nice rubberized grips here that feel nice and grippy. You have these disc brake handles here feel pretty standard for mechanical disc brakes. And you're gonna have your thumb throttle over here on the right. To turn on the scooter, you hold down the power button in the middle and it'll turn on your display, your pretty nice basic display here. It's nice flush construction here, so nothing's sticking out. By default, it's gonna turn on with the headlight on in the medium power level. To toggle through the power levels, you double tap the power button here. So it's a medium, double tap it. It's gonna to go to high, double tap again, back to medium, double tap, and it's gonna go back to low. So low has a top speed of four miles an hour. It's a walk mode. Medium has a top speed of 14 and high has a top speed of 19. To turn on and off the headlight, you just press the power button once and it'll turn the headlight on and off. This is what a six foot two person looks like sitting in on the Porto Max scooter. What do you say we go out and take this bad boy for a cruise, huh? Come on guys, let's go.
All right, we are out on the Porto Max scooter. Just zipping right along. The first thing I noticed is when you hit the throttle on this, it doesn't just throw all the power in. It's kind of a gradual, gives you a gradual uh, deliverance of power here. I'm on high right now. Pretty much always ride this on high. You just see here, let me show you the difference in levels here. So on low, it goes up to four miles an hour. So it shows a little icon of somebody walking. So I'm guessing low mode is more for if you get a flat or you need to just walk the scooter and you don't want to push it. So yeah, low is very slow. I'm gonna double tap up, go to medium here. And if you can see here on the battery gauge, you can, there's a little gauge here that shows you how much power it's outputting. Might not be able to see that in the sun here. Medium is definitely, medium gets you going, you know. This is when you, you wanna take it all in, you wanna take in all the nice, beautiful scenery. You're not really in a hurry. It says it'll go up to 14, but I'm cruising around 10 or 11. I might be going up a slight grade right now, but not very steep. So, so far I found myself always riding in high. This is a 350 watt motor with 500 watts peak. This is definitely not the most powerful scooter, but honestly guys, if you start looking around at different re scooter reviews, they make some scooters that are just downright ridiculous. Some of them do like 45, 60 miles an hour. And those to me, like, those are just extremely dangerous. So I like that this scooter is more moderate. This is more practical. You're gonna wanna like get one of these for your kids and have them ride it around or your son, you know, kid goes to college, you can use have them use one of these to get around campus without having to worry about getting a call that, you know, they were doing 45 miles an hour on their scooter and hurt themselves. Gets you going up to around 16 or 17. The highest I've seen is 17 personally, but like I said, I'm 240 pounds. I'm a little on the heavier side. I do find this scooter to be fairly maneuverable. We're gonna go test the maneuverability up here on the agility course. I'm in the corner one, coming around corner two. Woo, <laughs> this is corner three. Corner four, it's been in those corners. And corner five, last corner, corner six, can he do it? Oh yeah, we'll check that out. This thing is very maneuverable small you can make nice tight little turns but it's going to take you a minute to get used to riding it and when i said that earlier it took me a minute to get used to riding it because this one it felt a little weird at first taking both my feet off the ground and sitting it on the platform and part of that's you know maybe because i'm so used to riding a bike that i'm used to pedaling or having my feet out more it took a little minute it took a minute for me to get used to putting it on the platform in the middle but now i'm used to it and it feels fine Coming in now around 13, 14, 15, 16 miles an hour. Panic stop time. Oh yeah. Now that's some serious stopping power, right? I mean, of course you don't have to do it in dramatic fashion like that, but I just wanted to show you guys that this thing can stop very well. So let me explain in a scenario why I think these scooters are so cool and practical. You see, this is my truck here. And if you notice, I have to park on the street and that means Sometimes street parking is at a premium and I can't find a spot. So it's nice to have a scooter like this where I can just hop on the scooter, go down to the local store, and then pick up some stuff and come back and not have to worry about finding a new parking spot. Which is actually what we're going to do right now, guys. We're going to take a trip down to the gin. The, what is the gin, you ask? That's what all the people on the know call the dollar general around these parts. What do you guys say? Let's go do some shopping with the Hovsko Porto Max scooter. Come on, guys, let's go. We're going to be making our way down to the Dollar General or the Gin to see how useful the rack on this scooter is. This thing is super quiet. As the motor on this thing makes almost no noise at all. And I do notice this, but it says it has electric brakes as well as these mechanical brakes. So when I hit the brakes, I do hear like a little, I don't know what you'd call it, regenerative sound or something. I can tell that the motor is adding additional resistance as well to slow it down. But honestly, I don't think this needs that at all. I don't think this uh, scooter needs the electronic brakes because these disc brakes offer more than enough stopping power. I live on a second story. I don't wanna drag my bikes up and down the stairs. It's nice to be able to just grab something like this and then go down to the store, assuming I don't need to bring too many groceries back with me. 
but for little convenient trips, I feel like the Porto Max will come in quite handy. We're doing 17 now. We're gonna go down this hill here. Let's see how fast we go. Ooh, we're on 18, 19, 20. You can tell now the motor's not putting out any power now. 23, 24 miles an hour. Now it feels pretty stable, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure, you know, with the front wheel, as small as it is, you don't wanna be uh, making any sudden movements, that's for sure. I live in an area that's not so good. I would have to lock up my bike, but now I can just take my scooter right in the store with me. It's like you have a scooter and you also have a built-in shopping basket with it. So I don't have to worry about the store not having any shopping baskets available. Dude, what about a six pack of soda here? Oh, no problem. Perfect fit. Put everything back in our handy dandy basket here. Let's look at it. How cute. How perfect of a fit is that? And we're off. That was a successful trip to the gin, wasn't it? Now let's head back home. I just gave you guys an idea of how you're gonna look riding around on a Porto Max. I think it's pretty cool looking to be honest. The paint job on this gives a nice glossy gray. It's a good looking scooter. And guys, um, I don't really recommend doing this, to be honest. Uh, you should definitely have both hands on the handlebars when you ride these things. But you know, these are just some of the things I do to make sure you guys know what you're getting into when you're buying these things. Well, there you have it. This is the Hobsco Porto Max scooter. So far, I've enjoyed my time on the scooter. And if you're interested in buying one, feel free to use the link in the description of this video. Doing so does help support the channel and you can save yourself 50 bucks in the process. So it's a win-win situation, right? Anyways, guys, I'll probably be doing a follow-up in about a month or so. I'll let you know what life has been living with the Hobsco scooter on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.